Hey everybody, it's Nancy and welcome to this week's theatre review from the Nancy Stevens Show. I've just come back from Milton Theatre where I have seen Bed Knobs and Broomsticks which is on till Sunday the 19th of September. I had no expectations and sometimes that is a wonderful thing to do, uh, to go and see a show that you have no expectations of because you're not going to be disappointed and I wasn't, I certainly wasn't disappointed. I hadn't even seen the film, so I had I, there was no, there was nothing to to compare it to, which I think is actually really lovely. All I know it was a, a, a very popular film of sort of my generation and older, starring Angela Lansbury. That's about it. And I actually I actually deliberately didn't sort of swat up on it because I just wanted to go with a really open mind. And what a joy it was! It was a, a, a little bit long, if I'm honest. It could have been trimmed by about half an hour. Um, so there were there were moments where I thought mm, this could be this could be shorter, um, but it's utterly magical. Written by the Sherman Brothers, who wrote Mary Poppins and uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, it's just got that um, that British feel about it. It's quintessentially British. Um, I'm just going to read a little bit of a synopsis of what it's about because it'll be explained a little bit better than what I do. Uh, so it's when the three orphaned Rawlings children are reluctantly evacuated from wartime London to live with the mysterious. Uh, Eglatine Price, they have no idea what adventures lie ahead. On discovering that she is a trainee witch, they join forces to search for a secret spell that will defeat the enemy once and for all. And that you never really know what the enemy is, but you're, you're guessing it's the Germans, really. Um, armed with an enchanted bed knob, a bewitched broomstick, and a magical flying bed, they encounter surprising new friendships on their journey from Portobello Road to the depths of the beautiful briny blue sea. And we all know the song. Um, so yeah, so that's basically what it's about. Uh, the, the kids are fantastic. I'm not a fan of uh, child actors, but uh, just just absolutely lovely. And um, it's just really magical. It, feel, it feels quite old fashioned, but not dated, if that makes sense. And uh, it, it, the escapism is, is just wonderful, particularly with what we've been through lately. Um, it was lovely right at the beginning before the first song had even been sung, everyone was clapping, and that hasn't really happened before, so there's still that joy of everyone being back in the theatre. Uh, really, really, sort of sense of anticipation. Theatre was full, uh, lots of different ages, um, from sort of real littlies up to sort of older people. I do have a pet beef, I have to say, I wish people would not eat sweets during a show. A constant rustling of packets and everything is so unnecessary. So note to theatres, please don't sell stuff like that. It really spoils it for our, our viewing pleasure, uh, especially when it's members member of the, of the price as well. You do not expect that. Anyway, that's my beef over. Um, so uh, starring uh, Diane Pilkington, who is uh, Miss Price. She is the mysterious lady who um, the three orphan children go to live with. And uh, as I say, she's a trainee witch and uh, a reluctant, um, you know, she, she doesn't really want the kids at first. She doesn't know what to do with them. But the bond that they form is wonderful. Charles Brunton plays Emilius Brown, who is a kind of fail magician. And um, again, he's, he's just wonderful. He played Miss Trunchbull um, in the West End um, and also on Broadway. And he, fantastic. The, the, the show really lifted as soon as he came on. You could feel it because it felt like it was dipping a bit. As soon as he came on, he just he just had that thing that just, oh, wow, there's something starting to happen now. So it was really great. And Diane Pilkington says of the brand new production, it's fun, full of magic and takes you on a different journey from the adventure we've been on for the last year and a half. It's what the world reads, needs right now. And I could not agree more. It really, really does. Uh, it's pure escapism, and as I say, that is exactly what we need. Uh, I, was, I was wondering how they were going to do the sort of, you know, how the special effects were going to work. And um, gosh, mind-blowing, utterly magical, mesmeric, I think is the word I'd say. Mesmeric, that's a good word, isn't it? Uh, how the bed um, is lifted. I mean, obviously there's hydraulics involved, but you couldn't see the joins. I mean, it was utterly, utterly seamless. Absolutely fantastic. And um, the, 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 the broomstick as well, moving around and uh, Emma's price being on the broomstick, you just didn't see it. It was just so clever. And as I say, when I saw Chitty Chitty Bang Bang a few years ago, you could see the hydraulics, which kind of spoiled it really. So you know that that's what's involved. But when you're watching a show that's as magical as this, you don't want to see the joints. You don't want to know what goes on behind the scenes. So the the, the special effects are incredible. The the puppetry involved, um, the actors are involved as kind of stagehands moving uh, scenery around at the same sort of all, yeah at the same time. And it's it's again it's just done so cleverly. 
and the puppetry felt reminded me a little bit of War Horse as well. So just really, really clever. It's a magical, magical show. Really fantastic. I would really recommend that you go and see it. I say we've all had a, a really tough 18 months. It's not been the best summer. And this is a, just a feel good, I say quintessentially British show um, about magic. And it's about the power of believing and, and, and yeah, belief in something that may may or may not be tangible, but if you believe believe strongly enough, it can happen. And uh, yeah, I, I loved it. I'm feeling very heart, heart warmed, I think. I think that's the way to say it. So as I say, it's on at, um, Bed Loves and Broomsticks is on at Milton Keynes Theatre until Sunday the 19th and uh, definitely well worth a watch. And if you'd like to subscribe to my podcast, please click, click below the Nancy Stevens Show. And in the meantime, I'd like to say break a leg. Bye for now.